Hello, welcome back to Caravan Escapades. Um, thanks for joining us again. What I want to talk to you about today is why we don't use pink fluid anymore in our toilet flush and what we use as an alternative. Um, first of all, the reason we stopped using the pink fluid. Um, when we got this caravan a little over a year ago, I made the conscious decision not to bother using the pink. We'd had problems in the past, um, certainly with previous two caravans, with a buildup of algae um, with inside the flush tank, which resulted in black bits. Um, now, uh, certainly black bits coming out in the flush. Now, that could have been due to a lack of inexperience. Um, my understanding is, is that the black bits and the algae are caused a um, couple of reasons. A too much pink in the flush so there's a build up and a build up and a build up of um of pink um but also not draining down your flush tank uh, when not in use um so what do we use as an alternative um we use either water um or a cheap product called fabulosa uh, this is just a fabulosa disinfectant. Um, I think it's just a flora copy, something along those lines. Um, we think pick this up from BNM Bargains. It's about 85p or something like that. This container here will use, um, will make up 10 litres of water. Um, comes in different flavours. This is a black cherry Merlot flavour. Says kills 99.9. .9 um, percent bacteria cleans and shines eliminate odors long lasting freshness so we either use water or we use this stuff um, have we found a difference um, yeah I think we have um, certainly have no black algae no build up no bits in there do I need this stuff in there mm, do you know what I'm not sure um, but it's so cheap and I generally put one cap full of this in the filler tank when we do it um, with the water um, it's easy and straightforward it just sort of flushes through we haven't found any adverse smells um, when using just water um, we find that if we use the toilet as it should be and we close the um, flap off once we've uh, done what we need to do um, smells are not a problem um, we empty the toilet every day anyway um, certainly when we're on site it's my job normally before we settle down for the evening is is going and emptying the toilet or some point in the afternoon um, so smell wise not been a problem at all um, obviously it's plain water so it doesn't necessarily disinfect but again my thoughts are that with the um, the blue solution that's in the bottom that probably does all of that job but again doesn't disinfect the bowl so i think that's why we probably started using the fabulosa because it's a diluted disinfectant um it will give um that sort of cleaning action i guess that the pink was supposed to do what's the pink supposed to offer a cleaning action um disinfectant action i'm not sure to be honest i don't know whether the pink was purely there just to um give a fresh odorless smell so we use water um, or this solution I keep sort of bringing it up um, I might try and find a link for it uh, and put it down below um, but let me know what your thoughts are um, what you do there are two main um, fluids or probably three main fluids now you've got the pink which goes in the flush you've got the blue which goes in the bottom the blue invariably helps break down the waste uh, and certainly helps with breaking down um, the toilet papers um, again in my opinion we only use either um, specifically designed toilet paper for uh, the cassette toilet or what we've found is at the very sort of cheap -er end um, toilet paper that you can buy from the Audis and the Lidl's that sort of stuff uh, work down very well and break down very well as well um so give me your opinion let me know um what you use sorry i was actually telling you what um fluid so you've got the pink that goes in the top the blue that goes in the bottom there's also a green the green is supposed to be environmentally friendly uh i haven't looked at it really i haven't used it um but i believe the green you can put it both in the bottom and the top um but they're the sort of main ones anyway 
So um, if you're new to caravan again and you haven't um, filled up your caravan uh, or certainly filled up the flush tank on your caravan, um, we'll pop outside now. There's some filming I did earlier on um, and we'll show you a where you fill it up and also sort of how to drain it down and what we do when we drain down. Okay, as I said, this is why we don't use pink and invariably don't use anything, just use plain water. Um, sometimes we use something else, but I'll um, talk to you about that shortly. Um, so, toilet flush fill, um, open it, fill it full, pour in there. In times gone by, we'd add the pink into there, close it back up, um, job done. So this is the toilet bowl, invariably the um, water is stored behind there in the top part of the flush tank. Um, that's yours clean, thank goodness it was clean. So that's clean. When we press the button on the top here, now our tank's empty, all you'll do is probably hear a noise. Um, there might be a little bit left in. But yeah, there's a bit, there's a bit left in there so it goes round. But as you can see, that's clear water um, and no flush in there. So that's our toilet tank and that's how we use it. Okay, um, what I want to do is show you how to drain down the toilet flush. We talked about the toilet flush and invariably getting black bits in it. Um, one of the problems and one of the causes of getting the black bits is actually leaving the water standing in there for a while. So whenever the caravan's in storage or not in use, you should really sort of drain that down. Certainly when we travel between sites, we drain that down as well. Um, just saves any potential spillages, extra weight on the caravan when you're towing and that sort of stuff. So. What I want to do is show you how to do that. So we need to open up the flap again. And on our caravan, yours could be different, but invariably, just above here, you have a little rub, uh, rubber tube that you pull out, which has got a stopper in the end. Now, you can either just let that sort of drip away onto the floor, but if you have been using any sort of anything in it, like pink or other sort of disinfectant, or just to save water and use it again, get yourself something like an old milk bottle, um, this system's empty at the moment, but I'll just sort of show you what you do. So you take the cap off, pull out the stopper from the end, or there's a little bit of water in there, and literally sort of drain that in there till you're full, or till the, em till the um, system's empty. Stick that back away. Ooh. Put your lid back on so you've got your toilet fluid there, or your um, flush fluid. Now you can put that in the car, you can pour it away down the L sand point or that sort of stuff. Um, so that's basically how to drain off your toilet fluid. If you need, um, when you get to the next site, to refill, take your container out, open your flap, pour away, close it off, lock it off, and job done. So that's how to drain down. Thank you very much. Well, that was how we do it. Um, relatively straightforward and easy, uh, not too difficult a job. Um, like I mentioned in there, um, we always drain down um, when the caravan is not in use, um, when it's in storage, but also, particularly when we're traveling down to France, we drain down um, between trips. The thought of, oh, well, I empty the toilet as well. The thought of having um, fluid slopping around inside the toilet. Um, also, it sort of, if you've got your flush tank, it potentially could raise the center of gravity of the caravan slightly. Uh, it's a bit of weight on the side, which could make the caravan unstable. Um, but we drain it down into a water, into a container like a milk bottle, that sort of thing. Put it in the car. Um, when we get to the next site, just sort of pour it straight back in. As you know, as you've probably seen from one of my previous videos, the way we normally fill the uh, the water tank is with our collapse uh, watering can. Um, so why don't you check that out? You can see the collapse watering can plus other collapse products. Um, once we've filled it up, we just put a cap or two caps full of the, um, here it is again, the Fabulosa, put two capfuls of that in um, and the job's a good one. Um, what you can do, uh, and I've been told, if you are using the pink, when you do drain down, is to fill the tank again with clean water uh, and invariably flush that through uh, and drain that down as well. So, but I think if you are using pink, probably best thing to do is, uh, is drain down when not in use. So, 
that's the kind of an escapade thank you very much for watching um, i hope you found that useful uh, please remember to like subscribe and share uh, we do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos so thank you very much and we shall see you again sometime soon thank you